I know what you're thinking. A story about patience? Pfft, I don't have the patience for that. Well, guess what, bucko? You're awesome, and I tell pretty good stories, so there's a 60% chance it'll be worth it. This one involves vandalism, so hang in there. Have you ever tried to change something about yourself? For example, have you wanted to be kinder, or more understanding, have more faith, be more assertive, anything like that? This reminds me of the common question, do you think people can change? Well, I know they can, because I've changed. I'll go more into this in other videos, but let's just say I had a string of epiphanies that changed me dramatically. Growing up, I've always been more interested in the big picture of life, such as my purpose for being here and the nature of reality rather than the material aspects such as racing to buy a house or working 40 plus hours of a job I hate to have the nicest car. I used to find it astounding that so many people didn't seem to think about the important questions and they would get so caught up in petty drama, especially in high school. If someone was totally freaking out about something small like getting their shoes wet or finishing a homework assignment, I couldn't help but put it into the bigger perspective. Thinking 10 years from now or even 100, something this trivial is not important and not worth the total world-ending style freakout. This is not to say that great significance, joy, and learning cannot be applied to the small things. Quite the contrary, actually. But why cry over spilt milk? Oh well, we all think differently, which is good, and people have every right to think and stress out all they want, honestly. Back to the point. This is a short story of when I first started to cultivate patience. So I was practicing being more patient with others instead of reactionary. I've learned that often when you put your whole heart into wanting something, you will be given opportunities for that thing. So if you wanted to be a millionaire, maybe you will get a million dollar idea. And in this case, I wanted to be more patient. So I was getting opportunities to be patient, aka situations that would normally cause me to become impatient. So basically, before it came to me naturally, I would willfully force it, and it would sometimes end in failure. Late at night, I took a trip to 7-Eleven. I was with my best friend John, and the whole reason for the trip was to get him a Slurpee. He loved those things and had been wanting one all day. Anyway, we get in there, and he goes to the Slurpee machine while I'm wandering around the store. For whatever reason, I went over to the Slurpee section after he was done and saw that he had left the spout of the Slurpee on, so it was just pouring out all over the counter and floor. I quickly turned it off, and at that exact moment, an employee walks out from the back room and sees me. I told him my friend left it on by accident, and we were sorry, but he just started screaming at me and said that I did it on purpose. Maybe because he walked out right as I was turning it off and jumped to the conclusion that I had done it, but for whatever reason, he was absolutely sure I had done it intentionally, and he was in a rage. He kept berating me over and over, and I slowly felt his anger rising inside of me. I took a deep breath, stopped myself from freaking out on him, and just walked over to the counter where John was waiting to pay for his Slurpee. The employee at the counter began to ring us up when this angry guy walks over and says, No, we're not selling to you. Get out. I'm fiercely defensive of my friends. If someone I cared about fell into a raging river, I would be the first one to jump in without a moment's hesitation. The fact that John wasn't going to get his Slurpee, which he had been going on and on about, in combination with this guy yelling at us and telling us that he won't serve us and to leave, which is a terrible feeling by the way, my limit for being calm and patient broke and I snapped. I picked up the Slurpee, wound it up like I was pitching at an all-star game, gave the Slurpee a hard squeeze to make sure the top popped off, and I chucked it against the back wall, exploding it all over everything. They were so stunned, they didn't say anything. The angry guy did pick up the phone, I assumed to call the cops, and I just turned to John and said, let's go, and we left. The reason I thought of telling the story is, I happened to stop in that same 7-Eleven a few days ago, and the angry guy was still working there, but it had been a few years since our last encounter. As I was checking out, he saw me, and he said, Do you remember that time you threw that Slurpee? And he just started laughing. I laughed too, and retold the story from my point of view. He thought it was the funniest thing ever, and I think he knew he had been a dick because he told me I really should have thrown the Slurpee at him. Moral of the story? There is no moral. But I'm glad it all happened. We all had an interesting story, and he played his part in my learning experience, as well as I in his. Wear your seatbelt. No wait, that's the odd ones out. Um... Use your blinker? Yeah, use your blinker, and don't be a dick.